Hello YouTube. Today we'll be scrapping this Quantum Leap Quantum Pad. I found this in a big trash pile. As you can tell, the battery cover has already been removed and the batteries have been removed since it was quite rusty. So now, first thing we got to do is remove all the screws on the back. Here's a little area where you would insert your cartridge, which I'm not doing that area, but there's no cartridge in it, but I know I've, I've seen them before. In fact, you should actually own one of these. And I know that there are some nice gold plating on the connection from the um, socket to the actual pins of the cartridge. Those are both gold plated. That's it. So now, you should be able to just open this up. Crack it open. It's really quite tricky. So this is big piece of plastic and what appears to be a mid-grade board, I don't know. Let me check it out. So we're just going to undo two screws right here. It's not a whole heck of a lot in here. Alright, now it looks like we got some wires to undo here. Cut these off. And there we go. This board here has a little bit of gold plating on it, not much. But you can add that to your old gold bearing board pile. This looks like a mid grade board. This screw, we have some sort of button. That's a low grade board, it's just a button right there. No button switch. So we snip that. Middle wire. And of course, we got our um, terminals here, which are made out of steel, stainless steel, and a little bit of wire. Another board here, another low grade. And the other side appears to be for headphones. Uh, just typical low grade. With one little monolithic ceramic. Uh, you can't see that. But to the left, there's a little monolithic ceramic. So I'll just snip these wires. And those are the low grade. 
Now we got two little uh, screws here, which should undo another part of the uh, leap pad. like a connection to a silver mylar. That's interesting. Looks like some really low-end gold connections. But I'm not gonna keep these. I'm just gonna throw it in with low grade. More wire. Next, I'm just going to move this paper. More trash. And we got ourselves some steel terminals right here. the remote control. It's interesting how they're not attached to the back case. They're actually separate, which is interesting. Alright, so now I'm going to undo some more screws all along the sides here. piece of plastic, another sheet, wow, it's a big sheet of silver mylar, look at that, these look like carbon but I'm guessing there is some silver in here, that's really cool, it's just like a carbon covering. But yeah, big sheet of silver. That's unexpected. I guess that kind of explains why there's a whole bunch of, you can touch anywhere with a pen and it registers. All right, so we got ourselves a piece of steel. speaker that I just popped off um, that has a little bit of copper in it I won't really show you because it's pretty easy you just break apart the copper uh, break apart the paper or plastic um, covering and then the little cone itself the voice coil has the copper wiring up and there's a little um, piece of wire with a little bit of that little pen I don't think there's anything in that so yeah it's probably just some plastic but what is that might actually be something in it like the ending is brass and just a whole bunch of wire.
casing is plastic. Put that on with your brass. Small amount, but it still counts. Little connector for the pan. There should be either steel or brass, I'm not too sure. I'll put that in with my steel. Alright. So, almost done with this meat pad. I'm gonna clear off my area a bit. Real simple, easy way to get a little bit of silver. Now, I'm going to undo some screws and see what's inside this other piece. Most likely just some plastic, but let's find out. It's interesting how this thing was used for education, but by breaking it down, we're destroying education, but also knowing what's inside, which is also education in itself. It's extremely mind-bending. All right. Looks like pretty much the same thing on the other end. More silver. like a keyboard. There's a tiny little control board. It looks like some aluminum foil as well. Another piece of silver. Right, I'll probably just carbon plated still for my life. Going around to the other side. I'm gonna open it up. And pull it out. There we go. Big piece of plastic. Some wiring. Another low grade. So yeah, that's about it. A whole bunch of screws, a lot of plastic, a nice mid grade. A whole bunch of low grade. And our silver sheets. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you found that video interesting and useful. Probably you didn't know that something cheap like that would actually have two pieces of silver in it. I didn't know it. So hopefully you learned it something new too. So I hope you found that video, once again, very interesting and useful. That's all I have for you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content with the E-Scrap Man. And I'll see you guys later.